How often do you think about Michael Jackson? Probably not very often. See, the greatest artist of all time. I think the highest selling artist as well. This guy, he dominated. Not only dominated, but he changed the music game. And still, after all his accolades, you barely think about him. Obviously, like after like two weeks or something, you probably think about him. You're like, oh, Michael Jackson was cool. Oh, Michael Jackson did... I don't know. I don't know. But the point is, he was the most successful artist. And you don't care about him. You don't think about him in your day-to-day living. And obviously, there are going to be people who are obsessed with Michael Jackson. But for the large majority, most people won't think about him often. Maybe once every two weeks, once a month, or whenever they're listening to his music, right? If people don't care about the greatest artist of all time, why would they care about you? I hate to break it to you. In fact, I'm, I'm lying, I'm lying. I love to break it to you because what? It's actually a positive thing. No one cares about you. Genuinely, no one cares. But the funny thing is, we believe that everyone cares about us, that they're always watching our every single move. So we live lives to appease this audience. We think about, mm, what would this audience want me to do? How would I best fit into what this audience wants? But the funny thing is, there is no audience. No one is watching you. And even if there is an audience, maybe you think there are people watching you. None of them care. So why would you live a life for people who don't even care? Why would you live a life where you're seeking to be realistic? Because it helps you fit into the crowd. It helps people not look at you funny. When they don't care whether you live a realistic life, whether you live a life chasing your wildest dreams, they're not going to care. Like obviously your parents will care and whatnot, but like other than your parents, people don't truly really care. So if you're living for other people, realize that there is no point. Like there's no point. You might as well go for your dreams because what else on God's green earth are you going to do? Like genuinely think about it. What else are you going to do except go for your dreams? You probably aren't enjoying the way you're living right now. You probably look forward to the weekend. Do you want to know something interesting? Do you want to know something very interesting? I haven't looked forward to the weekend since I was in school. Why? Well, it's not really an achievement. I know I'm making it sound like an achievement, but quite frankly, it is. It's because I live a life that I want to live every single day of my life. This thing of looking forward to two days out of a seven-week day, it's like you're looking forward to like 30% of your life. Does that make sense? That you only enjoy 30% of your life. And then even then when the weekend comes, you haven't been chasing your dreams, so you can't even enjoy your weekend. Most people don't enjoy their weekends. They just suppress the emotions that would have been built up during the week. So what people call enjoyment is actually just running away from their problems. They go to a club, they drink, 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 drink. They're like, ah, it's so amazing going there. The drinking, that clubbing aspect wasn't the amazing thing. It was the fact that they forget about the life that they're choosing to live. Sorry, I went on an emotional rant, but I'm not sorry. I don't even know why I say sorry, because it's like, this is my camera, this is my phone that I'm using as a mic, and this is my channel. I'm not going to say sorry for... I'm going to say sorry again. I'm going to say sorry again. I was about to lie to you guys. (laughs) Before I went on that emotional rant, what I wanted to say is you aren't enjoying your life right now. So why not chase your dreams? And when when people think about, I'm chasing my dreams, it's going to be so hard. To go for your dreams, all you need to do is what would take you a step closer to your dream. When people think about their dreams, they think about it as if their dream is on top of Mount Everest and they're on the bottom. And they're like, oh, how am I going to get there? So you'll never climb Mount Everest thinking, how am I going to get to the top? The only way you can climb Mount Everest is if you take a step at a time. So that's how you go for your dreams. You take a step at a time and then you bail because you're all... Oh, TJ! TJ! Because you're obviously going to bail. Then you get back up. You take three steps and you bail. And then now you stand back up and you carry on going. <laughs> so that's how you go for your dreams. That's all it is. If you're one step closer, you're chasing your dreams. Because when you're chasing something, you're trying to get closer to it. So if you just take one step, you're now closer. Another step. Now people can't see you because you're that much smaller than them and you've leveled up. I don't know. I think this one, it's the end of the day. So there's less structure to the things I'm recording. So I'm sorry for the lack of structure in the end of this one. But anyways. (laughs) And you know what the funny thing is? Once you reach the top of this mountain, once you achieve everything that you've ever wanted to achieve, the funny thing is, No one will care. 
And some people may think about it and be like, ah, so why should I do things if no one will care? How I see it is, is very liberating because if no one's going to care, I might as well do whatever the hell I want to do. And that's what I do every single day. To my parents' grief. Like, obviously, don't be reckless. I don't advise being reckless, but no one cares. So just live how you want to live. And again, if no one cares, you might as well live a life that you care about.